outline curves are an unusual concept for new students and students that haven't seen this before. And Mathematic is a great tool to explore this concept and I want to show you how that works now. I'm going to look at the family of curves with uh, x coordinate cosine equals at and y coordinate sine equals bt and we're going to vary a and b and just kind of see what kind of things we can do with that. Before we do that let me just show you a simpler example on how to plot parametrically defined curves in Mathematica and what we use is parametric plot. And the way you want to do this is you want to make a list. You're going to have the x coordinate is going to be some sort of function. So I'm just going to make up one. For example, if my x coordinate was t to the fourth power and my y coordinate comes from the function maybe t squared minus one. And then what I need to do is let my t value vary from, let's say from negative two to two and just see what we get. There's not really anything interesting here, but what we're seeing here is that the x coordinates come from this rule, t to the fourth, y coordinates come from this rule, t squared minus one. Okay, so if I wanted to take the same concept and plot something in this x equals cosine and y equals sine, I just need to replace my x and y coordinates with, well, let's just start out with saying cosine t and sine t. And since these are trig functions, let's let our t value go from, how about zero to two pi? And let's see what we get. Okay, so we get a circle, and that's pretty neat. Um, now, where sometimes my students ask, where is t in here? All right, so let me show you how we can um, visualize that. I can add a manipulate around my parametric plot, and I wanna let t go from zero to a, and so I'm gonna vary a going from, I would start at zero, but Mathematica doesn't like to start at zero, zero, so I'm gonna start with 0 0.1 up to two pi. All right, now another thing I wanna do in this is inside my parametric plot, so the parametric plot's right here, I'm gonna add plot range, and this way I will fix my window. The window changes automatically in Mathematica. This will help keep it fixed. So the way you do plot range is I'm gonna have a list. The first list is the, the x range, so I'm gonna go from negative one to one in the x direction. The second is my y, so I'm gonna go negative one to one in the y direction, and I need another brace. Now when I evaluate this, I have this little table, and as I drag A around, you can see my curve tracing through, and this is what's happening as T is moving, and you're getting all these coordinates, and we end up with a nice unit circle there. Okay, so that's if A and B are one. Now what I'd like to see is what's going on for different values of A and B. Okay, so um, let's take the same expression. I'm gonna copy it and bring it down here. And now let's just change, how about like 3t and 4t for sine. I'm not exactly sure what's gonna happen here. I just changed those parameters a and b. Now let's take a look. All right, so now as I vary my a value, we'll see the coordinates trace around. Oh, uh, that's definitely not a circle anymore. But as I keep doing this, I get this nice, this cool looking geometric spiral looking thing. And that's what happens with these parametric plots. Right? You get these interesting spirals like this. For different A and B here, we could figure out different curves. All right, so let me do it this way. I'm gonna have a parametric plot. I'm gonna put in my X coordinate to be cosine A T. And I do need to say A asterisk T and sine B asterisk T. I'm gonna let my T go from um, zero to two pi. And I want my plot range. I noticed that I kind of cut off a little bit here at one, so I'm gonna let my plot range go a little bit bigger than, than that. How about we go from negative 1.1 to 1.1, and the y direction the same. Okay, now with this definition, uh, this won't graph anything because Mathematica doesn't know what A and B are supposed to be. So what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna make a table of these plots. And I'm going to let A values vary from, how about, 1 to 4. And I'm also going to let my B parameter go from 1 to 4. Okay, now this will calculate a table of these plots. Now, I want it to look nice, so I'm going to wrap this in table form. And that way it'll kind of, instead of a list, because tables generate lists, this will generate a nice image here. And let's see what we get when I do this. Wow, look at that. Okay, so this, now I have like a grid of graphs, and these are all the different parametric curves of this family with my A and B values going from one to four. 
So notice that A and B are the same. So this is 1, 1, this is 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4. I get these circles. But when they're not the same, I get these other interesting shapes. I get like the hourglass, the double hourglass. I get the little fish, right? I get these interesting curves like this. And this is what this family of curves looks like. And it's really neat that Mathematica can help generate this very quickly. We can either, we can either make a whole family of these together or we could do this manipulate plot and just let it trace through. And we could even take an animate plot. Okay, so now to animate, I'm gonna take the manipulate function and I'm gonna change this to animate. And let's change cosine 3t, I don't know, how about, um, let's leave that cosine 3t and how about sine of 2t. And let's see what we get. Okay, now when I hit animate, it's gonna trace through this automatically. And look at that, you can just watch this repeat on loop all day. Okay, something else I want to show you. I mean, there are a lot of really fun parametric plots. I think this one in particular is, is a lot of fun. If I take something like this, so here I'm going to make a parametric plot with uh, several, several parameters on that. I want my x coordinate to look something like this. A sine of bt plus c cosine of dt plus E sine of FT. Okay, that's a lot. That's going to be my X coordinate. So I need to make sure I put this in a list. And then my Y coordinate, I'm going to do the same thing, same parameters, but I'm flipping the role of cosine and sine. Okay, so I have all that. Now I'm going to range this over zero to, uh, we might want to go out a little bit further. How about we do four pi? And since I'm not manipulating here, I think my plot range should be fine just like it is. And now what I want to do is I'm actually going to define this. Uh, I'll say paraplot. So I'm defining a function with variables a, b, c, d, e, and f. Once I evaluate that, I can now give me quick plots like this. So I'm going to let a be, how about one, one. Let's do, how about uh, one half, five. 1 fourth and how about 13? Okay, so what this is now is saying 1 sine t plus 1 half cosine 5t plus 1 fourth sine 13t and then a similar thing for my y coordinates. Let's see what we get. Wow, we get these cool shapes like that. What if I change my values to something like this? Instead of 13 here, I'm going to say 2.3. What do we get? Whoa, we get this squirrely shape and I don't think we finished it all so let's go instead of 4 pi how about we do uh, maybe 10 pi and let's see if that gets us all the way through wow I still don't think it did maybe we need to look at this one in particular let's take that parametric plot and we had weights let's see 1 1 we had C to be 1 half and D to be 5 we had E to be 1 fourth F to be 2.3 and this time I'm going to let my t value go from 0 to k. So I'm going to have a manipulate function around this. And I'm going to let k go from 0 0.1 to, well, I don't know if 10 pi is enough. We're going to check that out. Let's see. Oh, yeah, and one thing I want to do here is I want to keep up with my plot range. So I'm going to come inside my function here. I'm going to go from negative 2 to 2 in both directions, and let's see what we get. Okay. So there's where t is when t is 0 and as I go through this let's see look at that now the rendering makes it look a little polygonal and I didn't get all the way through let's see if we go to 30 pi there I have it okay so I can just keep let this play <laughs> we can see that the rendering makes it look polygonal but when I stop it we can get a nice clean image Great. I hope you can see that Mathematica is a great tool to look at these parametric plots. We can do a lot of playing around with it, and it's pretty neat, and we get these really cool looking figures. If you have any questions on this, I'd be glad to help. I didn't cover everything, obviously, but it's a good start. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to help you with them. Just let me know. Thank you for watching.